Hi, I'm Ji Zhong Chen. Today I'm going to talk about my poster using NDVI sensor to determine chlorophyll content of Schifferlia Uta ancestorid. This project was performed in last semester in a class called Instrumentation. In this class, I learned how to use different sensor to record data. Surprisingly, I found the wavelength detected by commercial portable chlorophyll meter are similar to NDVI sensors, which are red line and near infrared. Therefore, I think NDVI sensor might probably be used to study or to estimate chlorophyll content as an alternative wave. Therefore, in this project, my objective is to compare the chlorophyll content measurement by using a NDVI sensor and see 100 chlorophyll concentration meter, spades chlorophyll meter, and chlorophyll extractions. During this experiment, the plant materials is Schifferdia Uta ancestoris. It's an ornamental plant used in the Intermountain West area. The plant was treated with 0, 2, and 4 minimal ammonia nitrate for 3 weeks. After that, we record several data. First, we recorded uniformity of the chlorophyll distribution. In this data, we took 10 measurements using MC100 chlorophyll meter, and then we can calculate the variation of the chlorophyll distribution uniformity by following equation. Second, we use a NDVI sensor to estimate the chlorophyll label of a single leaf. So what, how, we use, how we estimate the chlorophyll label is shows in the figure one that we cover the downward looking sensor with a leaf to record it transmitted red light and the near infrared light while we use an upward looking sensor to record it environmental red and the near infrared light. Then we can calculate the chlorophyll label by the following equations. Finally, we also doing the chlorophyll extraction following a protocol in 2014. The result shows that the chlorophyll distribute uniformly in the leaf of Schifferdia Uta ancestory and show in the figure 3 that low variation of the distribution uniformity was found. And then we also found that the chlorophyll label estimated using a DVI sensor is consistent with the measurements of spade meter, MC100 chlorophyll meter, and the chlorophyll extractions. Moreover, from the regression analysis of the measurement from NDVI sensor and the commercial portable chlorophyll meter, which are SPADE and the MC100, they show a strong positive correlation between their measurement and show in the figure 5. Therefore, from our result, we know that the NDVI sensor had extensive use to study or to estimate the chlorophyll content of the plant and might can serve as an alternative way to study chlorophyll level for those who do not have portable chlorophyll meters. Thanks.